we got a problem up on the board. 2 plus 3 times 4. If we were to try and solve this problem and we gave it to 100 people and they had no idea what they were supposed to do, my guess is we'd have 50 answers where the answer they'd come up with was 20. And we'd have probably 50 answers where the answer was 14. Now, we know in math that the answer is not two possibilities, right? It's not going to be 20 and 14 or 20 or 14, whichever one we want. We need to know which one it, which one it is. Well, mathematicians a very, very long time ago decided on an order in which we do operations. Remember, the operations that we have to work with, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, something called an exponent that we haven't really studied much, and parentheses. All right. Well, those six operations have to be done in a very specific order so that we do end up getting the exact same answer every single time. Well, that order can be understood and remembered with this phrase, PEMDAS. Right? PEMDAS is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Those six operations have to be done in that order every single time. So if I look at this problem, 2 plus 3 times 4, I notice two operations, addition and multiplication. According to these mathematicians, multiplication must come before addition. Therefore, we have to do 3 times 4 first, giving us 12. That 12 plus 2, giving us 14. The 14 is the only correct solution to this problem. Now, let's take a look at a couple other ones. Let's say we had this as our expression. We would look at this and we would notice that we basically have four operations. We've got parentheses, we've got addition, we've got multiplication, and we've got division. Now according to the order of operation, parentheses come first. 3 plus 4 is 7. I haven't touched the times 2, I haven't touched the divide by 4, the only thing I've done is I solved what's inside the parentheses. So we've simplified our expression to this. Now what's left is we have a multiplication and we have a division. Well, 17 times 2 is going to come first because it comes first in the order. 7 times 2 is 14. And we have 14 divided by 4, leaving us just one operation. How many 4s go into 14? We know that goes in there 3 times for a total of 12, remainder of 2. Denominator stays the same. That could be simplified to 3 and a half. 3 and a half is the only solution that can be um, correct for this expression. There's one thing, two things really, that we have to be careful of. Multiplication and division can be reversed. Whichever one comes first, that's the one we do first. If we look at this line right here, the only reason that we multiply first instead of divide is because it came first. It was further on the left as we read it from left to right. If it had been division over here and multiplication here switched, we would have had to do the division first. Same thing applies for addition and subtraction. If subtraction happens to come first, for instance, 8 minus 4 plus 3, we would have to do the subtraction first. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 has got to be the solution. So please keep in mind that those can be switched. It could be P-E-D-M-S-A. That's perfectly legitimate. We've just switched the D and the M, the S and the A. All right? But if we follow these order of operations, we should be able to come up with the correct solution every single time.